Here we are with Pete LaFrasha, and we're going to talk about when the DeMeo crew was the not so wise guys. So, Pete, let us let us hear about when your mother got you involved with the not so wise guys uh, on a on a day that they weren't so smart. Okay. <laughs> it's about eight thirty in the morning. My mother calls you up. She asked me what I'm doing. I said, I'm not too much about it. She says, okay. She says, maybe later on you stop by. I said, okay. So now, oh, let me get this, let me explain the situation. My mother lives on a course corner of Farragut and Mount Farragut. The bodies uh -huh. are twice collision where we won't play the Farragut? Diagonally. Farragut. Farragut. Mount Farragut. And but my mother's house was diagonally across. Mount Farragut was our twice collision. So she had a you can see it all day long. So who's that was there's a body shop? Yeah, the body shop. Yes, our twice. Yes. It was just okay. a place we stayed and kid around and shit. But anyhow. A little social club. Yeah. Private social club. Yeah. Anyhow. So it's later on in the day, it's about 12 30. She's telling she goes up again. She says, I think you should come by here. I said, fine, I can't make it for a couple hours. She says, but yeah, but just come by. She said, okay. <laughs> So now it's about 3 30, 4 o'clock. I drive by, right? Now, my mother has you can either go to one side of the street or the other street. They got a driver that goes totally true behind the house. Right? So I come into the back, right? I go in the house. Says, What's up, mom? She says, Come here. And my mother's like a little mouse creeping over to the window. She, <laughs> a bit. she said, That telephone truck. Said, what about it? She said, It's eight o'clock this morning. And she said, Nobody got out of it. <laughs> She said, I stayed and watched that truck. I said, you stayed all day watching the truck. She said, well, no, I took a break now and then, but I've been watching that truck for the last three hours. Nobody got out of it, nobody got in it. So I go and get my little blockers, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, and, I'm, and I can't see nobody, but I see shadows moving. And then it uh -huh. on me. I look, and it's diagonally across from the body shop. So they're sitting on them. The fast. Yeah. I call yeah. up. Oh, guys <laughs> Tony goes, Anthony, what's up, boys? What's up, Pete? I said, Anthony, not for nothing. But the truck in front of Obama's house, this guy's in watching this. I said, I said, he said, really? I said, yeah. He said, all right, let me call you back. So I'm watching. About 15 minutes later, he comes out of the body shop. Anthony's a funny son of a gun. With <laughs> and now he's standing there looking at them guys. <laughs> no, like this is going. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? Right? So I go, he says, put it back in the body shop. He says, you think they saw me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Ed. I see you as plain as that. He says, well, we're gonna, I said, you should really leave separately, go separate ways. Just do that for a while. So yeah, I got you. Anyhow, about a half hour later, right? Four of them come walking out of the body shop. Anthony, Joey, I forget what else. I'm watching. I said, coming out of the body shop, they're all buckling their pants. I said, what the fuck are these guys doing? They walk along the wall, the big, big wall for the shop, right? And they stand up, they Face the first, and then they do like this, like a pivot. They turn around and face the wall, and they drop their drawers down to their asses. And they are four guys mooning the fucking cops. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they there for a while, pull their pants back up. As you're walking in, they won't wave like, bye. Right. <laughs> so everybody thinks it's a big joke, right? Yeah. So here we are on trial. And don't you know. What At trial. Is this is this was later on, years later, right? Yeah. Comes in as evidence. They bring this movie objected to beat this. And here they go. They said, ladies and gentlemen, bam. And there's the board of mooning whoever's in the truck. And then a pressure of that police. And that's these gentlemen, the respect they have for law enforcement. These, you know, just like say, we were done fixed. I said, I said, oh, God. I said <laughs> the whole wall was blowing up with the four asses. <laughs> oh. These guys, this is the respect for our law today. So who was it? It was it was Anthony. It was Joey. It was who know. else? Richie. It might have been uh, Lamp and Paul Ball, and uh, I'm not sure who the other guy was. I don't think it was Richie. Richie ain't about that. You know, Richie's a good guy. He owns the shop. Yeah. But that was I'm not sure what the fourth guy was. It's been a while now. Right. Was 84. Right. But I will never forget those four asses. <laughs> and I said, wise guys, but she's been stupid guys in the face and not did that. Yeah. 
That was funny. Yeah, like it was. That's pretty funny. So listen, you know, yeah, this is on YouTube and sometimes, you know, people get to see things and uh, a lot of relatives and things are starting to watch our channel. Um, do you have anything to say to Anthony and Joey and Henry in the joint? Do you, do you miss them? What do, you, what do you have anything you want to say to them? Sure. I miss them like they're my brothers. You know, we might have been different in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? But we loved each other, you know what I mean? They, they had certain groups and doing things. That's why they, you know, but no matter what, if, if they call me for anything, I come, you know what I mean? If it came to helping them, protecting them, I come because I know they would do it for me. Man. You know, I mean, that's, that's what kept us close together, I believe, you know. We didn't have to actually be with one of each other today. The God, if we needed each other, we were there. You know, nobody, right. nobody, let me tell you like it is, Rob. If mm -hmm. I say to them, I'm going around a corner, I don't know if I'm coming back, they look at each other and probably say, hey, listen, we ain't doing, let's take a walk with you. <laughs> that's how we work. Right. very respectful. Um, yeah. So right, right. And but I heard Henry was a funny guy. Uh, Mr. Beckabelli? Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, I was Mr. Beckabelli. Yeah, that guy. I'm just going over there. That, he's a bad guy. Funny guy. <laughs> but, uh, uh. They, all, they all had their own aura about their own, you know, cliche the way they were they, they, they dressed, you know, hung out. Sure. They, they were sharp looking, good looking guys, every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, man to man, yeah. They had a string of as we used to say, which Bob Cramden uses for women. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Bang, zoom, right to the moon. Bang, zoom, that's, that's, that's <laughs> Very funny. Well, this is, see, this is, we have some people that are interested in the other side of the, you know, the story that never gets told. So, I'm glad we could talk about Anthony and Joey and, and Henry in a different light so people could see it. So, you know, uh, this is this is all the time we got for this week. So say whatever you want to say. Goodbye to our our, our, our okay. listeners and our watchers and our, our fans and our subscribers. And oh, by the way, I think I see the hat behind you, right behind you. No, the other hat. Oh, that one Yeah. Why don't you pull that down and show them because we're going to give this out away, aren't I hate we? To touch it, you know? It's a precious relic to me. Right. Okay. So this is the hat. I know you probably don't recognize, don't recognize it, but I can, I can give you a little. Uh... Right. This hat is this is Vinny the Chin Giganti's hat that was given one to Pete. Huh? One of them. But not by the two, but somebody close to him. Right. And I, and I cherish, I don't know how many years I had this thing. Probably more than I had my wife and kids. <laughs> so this hat is going to be part of a, a giveaway that we're going to do here to our subscribers uh, for when we get this uh, hey, podcast the way we want it to be. That's Vinny the Chin's hat worn by Pete LaFrosch of the DeMeo crew. And that hat's going to belong to one of my subscribers, at, uh, our subscribers at one of these points. So. Hey, we're putting Vinny back. And uh, anything else you want to say while we say goodbye? Well, first, first, I want to say that, Mr. Ducanti, I always have a lot of respect for you. You're a man's man in this world of, that we lived in, and please don't feel. It was given to me. It was going to be thrown away. We sent out to be repaired, but a, a friend of mine got it. And I said, Shh, yeah, I love that. And I've had it 30 years, 35. And I am. I just cherish it. So it's got now, many of the chin's DNA on it. There you go. <laughs> <I apologize. laughs> but to the, to the ladies and gentlemen that are watching this, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. And I hope I'm giving you a little more insight on what really went on. It wasn't on the dark side. There was a lot of other sides that, you know, you could appreciate. And I, I don't want to call you my audience no more. I want to call you more like, my friends, of course, I can see everybody is right now as I tell the story. I can see one is looking at me, smiling, saying, hmm, this guy lives a crazy life. And I can see one is like, oh man, this guy's so full of shit. But I can hear the other guy saying, whoa, well, it's been a crazy life. And I'm glad I could share it with you at this stage. I ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> there you go. So you guys, That's it. And so what I'm we're going to do, God bless as soon you as. All. Right. As soon as this is over, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a question and answer session with Pete and I. So stay tuned. 
we're going live and we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to answer whatever you got about this, this little episode and others as well. So we love you guys. Keep coming. Tell your friends. God bless. Sign them all up. God bless, guys.